Hello. In today's lecture, we will discuss about delete method of linked list. In the last lecture, we saw we saw how can we add elements to the linked list, and today we will implement the remove method. So let's look at uh, the current situation of our linked list. We have six elements in our linked list: Oracle, Microsoft, Yahoo, Google, and Dell. Let's say I want to delete Yahoo from this list. So how can I do that? Uh, let's take help from this slide. Now, let's say this is the element to be deleted. So what I can say, just to give you an idea, the next reference from the Microsoft is Yahoo, and from the Yahoo, the next element or the next node is Google. I will say from this point standing at the Google's position at the Microsoft position at the Microsoft node of the linked list I will say dot next dot next dot next dot next means from this next uh, let me draw this also if I'll say from standing at Microsoft dot next then I'll get the reference of Yahoo and then I will say dot next then I will get the reference of Google so the Microsoft will then be referencing to Google and not Yahoo so this reference will be discarded and this will also be discarded so the next uh, the, the reference point has been changed how can I implement that let's uh, code it now so you can better understand it here is a linked list here is an add method public void or you can say public let's uh, not change the return type and you will say string uh, data Okay, so I have current equal head. Uh, the head is the first pointer. As you can see, this is the first one. The pointer is pointing towards the head node, and this is the current element. Now we will apply a while loop here. While uh, current dot get next not equal to null right and what do we see here now we will check every element so we are standing at head and the next element is google so we will see if current dot get next dot get data the data of the next element it is equal to equal to the data that we have supplied equal to this data then what we should do is current dot set next set its next element to current dot get next dot get next okay so no so now what i am doing here what i am trying to say here let's say if i am standing at the head element so this is the current element is the head so i am standing here right now I am saying current dot get element dot get data sorry current dot get text dot get data so what I am saying is standing from here if I am saying current dot get next so this is the next one and get data so get its data so now the the data is oracle so I will say o r a c oracle if oracle equals to 
the data we have supplied. Let's say it is equal to what we are trying to remove or what we are trying to delete is Yahoo. Equals to Yahoo. So what? It's it's equals to Yahoo. No, it's it's not equals to Yahoo. Okay. So what we will do? We will do is we will change the pointer and we will shift the pointer toward uh, the next element right in this case um, i will say current equals current dot get me right now the loop will do the uh, uh, will again uh, the pointer will come to the while loop uh, uh, at this position uh, the while loop and now the current dot next so here is the current and its next is microsoft is and now we will check is microsoft equals yahoo no it's not it's not then what we are saying is set this current object to its next value and its next value is microsoft so now a pointer is here the execution pointer will come here and it will it will check the if the current elements uh, if the next element of the current uh, object is null or not it's not null because it's uh, it's standing at microsoft okay current dot get next dot get data current's next element is yahoo so it's Yahoo. right and assume that right now this is not get changed these uh, pointers are still at their position right and see this with this one Okay, so what I'm saying is current dot next uh, dot get next dot get data. This is the current position, and its next element is Yahoo, and we want to remove Yahoo. So if it equals to Yahoo, yes. So now the condition meets. So what you will do now? This line will be executed. Current dot set next. What I'm saying is set this next element to now this will be pointed to a new node or this will be pointing towards a new node which one current dot get next dot get next current dot get next dot get next so we have reached here and we have set its next reference to this one so now it's not not any more referencing to the to the yahoo and yahoo will not be referencing to Google anymore, right? Because only one control Z, control Z, only one element can reference uh, another element. Not two references can be maintained by a single object because we we haven't structured uh, our and uh, our data structure in that way. So, and after that, once we have removed it, there is no point in again executing the loop uh, for other elements because we have done our work. So we can return from here, right? So now let's execute it, and I hope you have understood the logic. Don't remove and remove what remove Yahoo right and after removing that let's display the next list uh, okay. As you can see, the first uh, half of this result 
is the one which which has all the elements it has yahoo also but here is in the second half we have we don't have yahoo anymore we have uh head node google microsoft head node oracle microsoft google intel not yahoo so that's how the remove method will be implemented in the link list thank you for watching